Now today we're going to show you how to make jam stars and the first thing we're going to do is take some puff pastry here and just cut some strips out of it and then we'll cut three squares. They don't need to be too perfect. Now when we have our three strips we're going to put a little bit of jam in the center. Any kind of jam is fine. I like a, a really nice blackcurrant jam but I would also say a raspberry jam would be lovely as well. We put that just in the center there of each square. Not too much jam. And then what you do is just score from the edges inwards, not too, not exactly touching the jam. And like that, on all of them. I'm just doing three so you can see how easy they are. And it's lovely the way you can just make as many as you need. You may only need three. Now the next thing to do is get some egg yolk. You can use a whole egg mixed with a bit of milk if that's if you just have a little bit. But I just brush it over the pastry before I turn in the pastry to make lovely jam stars. And I mean these are so easy. I think you'll really enjoy making them. And they're very easy to make with grandma or grandpa or mum or dad or show them how to make them. I'm sure they'll all be hooked. So then you get one corner of your star and push it in on top of the pastry. Then you get the next corner. They do separate a little bit there. Then you get the other corner. So you're starting at the same corner each time and turning them inside. So we continue taking one of the edges of the stars, bringing them in. So we're just turning them in. Like that, they're very pretty really. Keep going. And when these are baked, they're gonna puff up really nicely. My kids love making these. And then we're going to wash them with the egg glaze again. So just the tips, and this is gonna give the pastry a lovely golden color. Just the tips here when it puffs up. And we're gonna bake these in the oven at about 180 degrees or 190 degrees, just make sure they don't go too dark. And then we're going to put them on a baking tray. When your jam tarts are cool, you can make your lemon icing. So all you need here is some icing sugar, about big tablespoon we'll start with and then you get your lemon and squeeze it you can use um, a little bit of kettle water if you want and then I like to add it to the icing sugar and you want to create a thick paste you can see now you can see it's a nice thick paste. Okay, so then we're going to pour it over the nice jam stars. Hopefully our camera can see this. And the jam stars do need to be cool in order for this not to kind of dissolve. So and the last one. And there you go, there are your jam stars. I hope you all get to make these today or tomorrow at home.